previous tutorial we learned how to create fluid uh, typography and today is about the font family and custom font families so uh, what we can see here we are using the biorime uh, extra bold in uh, h1 and h2 uh, we are also using here the roboto but uh, for the sake of the shortening the tutorial we are going to apply a custom font just on this one and what uh, we first need to do is we need to download the Biorime let's go to the Google fonts because we want to sell hosted and also if you have some fonts that are not available on the Google fonts uh, the custom fonts uh, you will have the same approach as this one uh, let's type uh, Biorime Okay, download font family. Open it. And we need the online font converter and I usually use this one if it's a static font, if it's not a variable font. For variable fonts, uh, I will provide the link how to convert them as well. So add fonts, BRM extra bold. Perfect. Let's convert. What you can see here, it's uh, 93 kilobytes. It's a little uh, too big. And uh, if you check here, we can get away with the uh, only font. Uh, just a second, only with the subset of the Latin. We don't even need the Latin extended. And let's just select this one. And let's click convert again. And you can see we drop it from 93 to 55. Okay, we downloaded our custom font and the easiest way to add it to the oxygen is with the font manager from the Swiss knife or the oxy font manager uh, provided by the D plugins. And there are other ways, but this one is just the easiest one because we have the UI. Uh, so let's it like this and also we have the option to upload it from the wordpress and not to deal with the ftp so let's add the font face we can uh, select both of them and upload it. Uh, we can use the font swap and if you want you can preload it as well so you don't see that uh, flash because the font will be loaded before the website content but for the performance I prefer to uh, don't have it. Save What uh, we can do is uh, let's uh, reload just uh, one of the front pages and let's check uh, the page source. So what we can see is the uh, font is loaded and if we scroll down we are going to find our font family title. Let's now open the documentation and let's see how to add a custom font. So what you can see here uh, we need uh, this one or actually we first need to register the font family under the team. So I actually uh, prefer to open it with the code editor because if you go here at this moment uh, this block is just uh, too small for me and I like a little big bigger comfort. So let's uh, copy this one and I prefer to call it title and here we can add the title and if you want to have uh, some of the fallback fonts what you can do is you can just uh, copy the UI serif because we know that uh, that one is a serif and also let's add a serif as well perfect let's save it and let's just uh, Reload. You can see here that uh, it's uh, added uh, right away. And now uh, let's 
do it like this. If we reload it, we will see that uh, those are just the serif fonts. But uh, if we want to add a custom one, you need to add the prefix font and then the title. Let's save it and let's just check why the title. Because we register it as a title and we're adding the prefix font. So what you can see here, it's uh, added right away. Actually, I wanted uh, this one to be it. Perfect. But uh, you probably don't want to add it uh, multiple times. We, we want to reuse it. And uh, so if we do it like this, let's call this one H1. And let's uh, duplicate and uh, let's call this one h2 add h2 save and if we reload it perfect and uh, how to reuse it so let's go to the global and if we open the design quickly what we can see is uh, h1 and h2 are the custom fonts so what you need to do is and I prefer to add uh, each one of the class as well and then do the same for the H2 and then we are going to apply font sorry title and if we reload it You can see that uh, all of them are now uh, using the same font family. But uh, if you want to overwrite like uh, this one, let's just go and write uh, font sans. And you can see that you can have the global and uh, reusable and you can easily just uh, overwrite it somewhere if you need it. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully now you can understand how easily you can just uh, add custom fonts to your project and in next one uh, we are going to cover how to add uh, custom colors as well.